It's a goosebump feeling listening to the patriotic songs and all that is related to our nation. I love every bit of my India that wherever I'm based, I shall make it proud, spreading its essence everywhere. With my roots being very strong, in love with my culture and very proud of my rich heritage, I love focusing my work showcasing India with its beauty in all that I do. So I'm making a tricolored rice today with saffron, white and green color representing Indian flag with its natural colors. I have washed one and a half cup of basmati rice and saved up uh, the washed rice water that can be used to water the plants. Thanks to one of my viewer who had mentioned this to me and I'm doing this and it's working really well. So thank you very much for mentioning this in the comment section. Um, and in which way I can share it with others as well. Now carrots with its natural deep orange saffron color is something that we, that we can use to make carrot palau. So here in a pan I have a teaspoon of oil, a teaspoon of ghee, one palau leaf, one star anise, one clove and cardamom, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds which is jirke, one medium onion cut lengthwise, half a teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste, two carrots grated that I saute it only for two minutes time. We want the crunchiness of the carrots to be retained. A teaspoon of red chilli powder. Now to make the green palau with a teaspoon of oil, cumin seeds, clove, cinnamon stick, coriander seeds uh, which is kottambe kalu, 4 garlic cloves, an inch of ginger, 4 green chilies, 1 small onion, a teaspoon of poppy seeds. I saute it and then I add it into the mixer jar with a handful of mint leaves, handful of coriander leaves, very little of water to grind into a paste. With a teaspoon of oil and ghee, one star anise and a palau leaf and cumin seeds, which is jeered cake. A big onion and then I add in a cup of frozen peas, mint and coriander paste. Now, um, this rice, what I'm making now, is very popular at home called Balloli Anna, uh, that everyone at my home just love it. Uh, this can be made instantly and is excellent when it's eaten hot straight after it's made. Uh, with a teaspoon of ghee, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, four garlic cloves, four majjige menshin kai. These are yogurt chilies that are sun dried. This is the star of the dish. So make sure to add in majjige menshin kai. I'm dividing the rice into three equal portions, adding in salt and combining all of them to bring the flavors and the natural colors. Palloli Anna, Carrot Palau, Mint and Coriander and Peas Palau. Now here is the real beauty with all three put together in a frame that we all love to see. I am using a cake tin with the green rice at the bottom layered up that I press gently and then I layer up the white rice in the center. Now normally we make just one type of rice but I feel this is a great variety to serve the family or your friends in which way you will be giving them three different varieties that can either be combined uh, while eating or eat individually uh, to get each and every flavor of uh, each and every rice. I'm so 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 happy to see the outcome. Beautiful colors of saffron, white and green in its natural food colors um, that has brought the thing to life. We absolutely and thoroughly enjoyed each and every flavor of rice and mm -hmm. Santosh loved it combining all the rice together <laughs> and eating it. Mm -hmm. But whereas me, I enjoyed each and every mm -hmm. rice um, individually in a teaspoon as, I'm, as, I'm, as I was eating. 
Now, the beauty of India is not just with its extraordinary varieties of food, but with its clothing as well. A sari is a must for an Indian nari. My love for sarees has grown with years and here is to something that many of you have been asking me on how to reuse your old sari or an existing sari. Revamping and giving a new look to your sari is a very good idea in which way you do not have to invest in buying but tweak your sari giving it a new look. Here I have this plain deep blue sari that can be transformed into numerous ways such as um, a very straightforward and easy way is adding a lace such as this um, to its ends from all sides. Um, I bought this lace from a local store in Hubali. Now here is to another idea of adding these buttas. These are ready to use small size buttas that came in a pack. I spread them all over uh, the pallu and using a hot glue uh, is something that can be used as an idea that you might like as well. We all have our individual taste and preference on how we pick and choose a sari for ourselves. Every work gives a completely different outlook. So here uh, are these uh, tiny little kundan uh, being my favorite that can be spread onto your sari all over the sari which gives a very classy look. Um, you can use a hot glue to fix them as well onto the sari. I'm just showing different ideas. You can pick whatever you like to the most in converting an existing sari. Um, I have these shells, big kundan and golden sparkles as well, which are called as tiklis. Uh, shells can be added for navratri touch in a pattern like this. Uh, or you can use the big kundan, spread it out here and there. And I have also placed these big round gold circles in a pattern that I loved. Um, Every look which is so different from one another. Now here is to my very favorite are these white pearls and these uh, little hangings. I have picked all of them from a local store in Hubali, specifically meant for art and craft work. Local stores are a great option to pick and select varieties and like work. these. Um, I have used a pearl and a hanging to stitch around the sari. It looks elegant, it looks simple and this is what I liked. So at a little distance from one another, I have stitched the pearls and I continue doing the same on all three sides of the pallu, top, bottom and at the side. If um, any of you else feel the same and have noticed, this blue color represents the chakra on the Indian flag is what I can say. Um, if you feel like adding in more or giving a different look, um, adding a shawl, uh, in a temporary way is also something that you can do keeping yourself more warm in a sari especially during winter months um, a pearl in a safety pin is a must in which way the sari will not get tangled this is a temporary fix and you can remove the pins after the wear so i have pinned them so that uh, the sari is secured tight and it will stay in place especially when you're draping the sari it makes it a lot easy and I had to try it out myself to see the final look. It definitely gives a complete uh, different look that I can definitely wear it for a winter outing. What makes every day, every meal, every occasion, every celebration complete for us as Indians is a bite of a sweet. So I'm trying um, making Bombay Halwa for the very first time as it's my very favorite sweet um, but what will make it heartwarming to see and to enjoy is with its colors um, now i have measured in 125 grams of corn flour with 175 ml of water and onto the pan i have 400 grams of white sugar with 125 ml of water white sugar today especially uh, for its color to be in white and when the sugar melts adding in a tablespoon of lime juice and then with a continuous stir, I combine the corn flour mix um, continuously so that there are no lumps. Um, the stretchiness of the halwa on how long uh, you keep it on the pan, stirring in. I had mine for 30 minutes time. After 30 minutes time, I add in 2 teaspoons of ghee, cardamom powder, almond and cashew nuts crushed. Now the fun part is getting the colors for which I have divided it into three sections keeping the white portion aside and taking only one portion adding an orange food color for saffron part of the flag. 
I have the bread tin lined up with baking sheet which I have greased with the ghee. In goes the second layer that I flatten it down and then uh, the white after layering it up I add in the green food color for the remaining portion. I let it set for 15 minutes time. It turned out just the way I had imagined. It tasted really good with very few ingredients to make. As we celebrate Independence Day every year with the joy of our country being free, it is also very important to remind ourselves to put ourselves in a position to be independent as a person, independent with our thoughts, independent with our actions. Independence comes with you being yourself.